In the middle of his second book in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series, Douglas Adams wrote a brilliant economic parable worthy of the great satirist and economist Frédéric Bastiat. I read the book years before I had an interest in economics, and so I only realized much later how powerful his satire was. I also first read Bastiat years before learning economics in a satire class. The Bastiat piece was, of course, his classic petition of the manufacturers of candles, wax lights, lamps, candlelights, street lamps, snuffers, extinguishers, and the producers of oil, tallow, resin, alcohol, and generally of everything connected with lighting. Personally, I would put this piece by Bastiat up there with a modest proposal by Jonathan Swift. I think that with this short piece, Douglas Adams could earn a place in this pantheon, if only this excerpt gets attention as a standalone parable. For me, now, when people talk about solving economic problems by producing more fiat money, I can't help but think of the leaves. And I would just warn everyone, the fall is coming. So here's what I'm going to dub the leaf hyperinflation by Douglas Adams from his book originally published in 1980 called the restaurant at the end of the universe. If, the management consultant said tersely, we could for a moment move on to the subject of fiscal policy. Fiscal policy, whooped Ford Prefect. Fiscal policy? The management consultant gave him a look that only a lungfish could have copied. Fiscal policy, he repeated. That is what I said. How can you have money, demanded Ford, if none of you actually produces anything? It doesn't grow on trees, you know. If you would allow me to continue, Ford nodded dejectedly. Thank you. Since we decided a few weeks ago to adopt the leaf as legal tender, we have, of course, all become immensely rich. Ford stared in disbelief at the crowd who were murmuring appreciatively at this and greedily fingering the wads of leaves with which their tracksuits were stuffed. But we have also, continued the management consultant, run into a small inflation problem on account of the high level of leaf availability, which means that, I gather, the current going rate has something like three deciduous forests buying one sh ship's peanut. Murmurs of alarm came from the crowd. The management consultant waved them down. So, in order to obviate this problem, he continued, and effectively revalue the leaf, we are about to embark on a massive defoliation campaign and <clears throat> um, burn down all the forests. I think you'll all agree that's a sensible move under the circumstances. The crowd seemed a little uncertain about this for a second or two until someone pointed out how much this would increase the value of the leaves in their pockets, whereupon they let out whoops of delight and gave the management consultant a standing ovation. The accountants among them looked forward to a profitable autumn.